Hello, I'm Francesco De Luca. I will present the work Building Cluster Optimization to Integrate Energy Performance and Outdoor Thermal Comfort developed together with Emanuele Naboni, Gabriele Lobaccaro and Abel Sepulveda. It is a work in progress and has been presented as a short paper. Due to climate change and global temperature increase, also in European Nordic cities, the urban environment causes pedestrian thermal stress during the warm season and significant building energy consumption. This is especially true in commercial districts populated by tall buildings that significantly influence the local microclimate for their shape and for their high energy use. The aim of the presented work is to investigate urban climate adaptation of office building clusters in Tallinn, Estonia, to reduce temperature locally and globally and to reduce resource depletion. The objectives of the work are quantify overheating and cooling energy needed to maintain indoor comfort in commercial buildings, quantify pedestrian thermal stress in commercial districts, find optimal commercial building cluster configurations or trade-offs to increase outdoor comfort and indoor comfort, thus reducing energy consumption. We develop a method that integrates a parametric model to generate variations of a commercial building cluster located in different urban environments with different building and urban simulations. The method is based on an innovative holistic approach that integrates indoor comfort and outdoor comfort models to investigate optimal building and urban solutions. Indoor comfort is assessed on the basis of the Estonian Energy Ordinance that requires that in office buildings temperature must not exceed 25 degrees Celsius for more than 100 degree hours in the period between 1st of June and 31st of August. Cooling energy can be used to guarantee comfort and meet the requirement. Outdoor comfort is assessed using the Universal Thermal Climate Index. The analysis period used is the extreme hot week in July, between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Beside the method, the novelty of the work lies in the scarcity of overheating analysis for building clusters in Estonia and the lack of urban comfort studies in the country. For the analysis, the parametric model generates automatically nine building cluster variations, named from V1, the more compact, to V9, the one with the largest distances between buildings. The building clusters are located in three typical urban areas characterized by different densities and morphologies to evaluate the influence of different built environment on indoor and outdoor comfort. Urban weather datasets for the three areas have been obtained through modification of the existing weather data collected in the rural area, taking into account urban morphology and materials, building system, green areas and anthropogenic activities. For indoor comfort, overheating and relative cooling energy consumption assessment is performed for the eight perimeter zones where the offices are located for five floors of each cluster building to limit computational intensive simulations. For outdoor comfort, the UTCA calculation workflow developed takes into account the urban weather datasets for the three areas, 16 wind patterns for each of the 27 cluster variations obtained through CFT simulations and simulated mean radiant temperatures. For the assessment, urban comfort maps have been generated for each of the 84 hours of the analysis period. Initial results show that overheating limits are exceeded largely in all the analyzed zones. Building cluster configuration influences overheating variations up to 31.2% with consequent significant variations in cooling energy need and urban environment influences overheating variations up to 19.1%. As a general trend, and as expected, indoor comfort decreases linearly with the increase of distance between buildings due to the decreased reciprocal overshadowing, but in different ways in the different urban environments. Outdoor comfort performance of the different building clusters have been compared using the maximum ratio of the plot area with no thermal stress during the analysis period. Differently than indoor comfort, outdoor comfort increases with the increase of distance between buildings, mostly due to the increase of pedestrian area protected from direct solar radiation. Nevertheless, the configuration with smallest and largest comfort areas are not the same in the different urban areas, mostly due to the modifications of wind patterns by urban environment. Among the different urban areas, the maximum ratio of the pedestrian area instead of comfort ranges from 36.5 to 52.5%. An analysis of integrated performances shows that none of the three study areas present an optimal cluster configuration. Nevertheless, trade-offs are present. For the high density area presented in the chart on the left, variation V1 has the best performance for indoor comfort inasmuch it presents the smallest overheating and the mean value of maximum plot area instead of comfort. For the medium and low density areas, 
Trade-off variations are those with average mean values for both performances as variation V3 and V5 respectively. In conclusion, the main outcomes are all the building zones exceed the overheating limit by many times. It is possible to reduce overheating by up to 23.6% and relative cooling energy through an environmentally conscious design. The ratio of the pedestrian area within state of comfort is no more than 52.5% during the analyzed period. This indicates that pedestrian thermal stress in commercial districts is a severe concern also in Nordic cities. At the same time, it is possible to achieve an increase of outdoor comfort area of 13.5% through performance-based design. For the analysis cases, no optimal configuration exists. Nonetheless, evidence shows that more compact layouts perform better as trade-off cluster solutions. Thank you for the attention. I hope to meet you all in person soon.